Warner Brothers really wanted to be in the news today, and The Hollywood Reporter gave it to him. Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mr. Eli Mac Show. I'm your host, Mr. Eli Mac, and today we're going to be talking about how Warner Brothers had a lot of major DC films news that were released exclusively on The Hollywood Reporter. But before I get into the news, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Also hit the notification bell, that way you can be notified whenever a new video like this comes out. Because this is the first one and I'm probably going to make more like it because I like talking about entertainment movie news. So, first off, The Hollywood Reporter released a big exclusive like report about some of the stuff that's going to be happening at Warner Brothers with the DC Films division. Of course, all this news is stemming from the head of the DC Films department, Walter Hamada, leaving soon in the next coming days and sort of the new regime of what DC Films is going to be coming in very soon. And of course, this Friday, Black Adam is going to be coming out for the entire public to see. So a lot of news is definitely coming out for Warner Brothers and the DC Films to sort of get starting on what's going to be happening in the future of DC Films. And of course, the very first thing that was even mentioned, aside from Walter Hamada and the Black Adam stuff, is that James Gunn is currently working on, or is going to be working on a mystery movie with DC, with producer Peter Safran working on to help produce the film. Peter Safran, if you don't know, he's produced Shazam, Aquaman, Shazam, Fury of the Gods, and Aquaman and the Last Kingdom. So... James Gunn is going to be working with that producer to make this new film and even work on possibly doing more with DC. And James Gunn also stated that he is going to be focusing on Peacemaker Season 2 first. And I'm not saying this is what was revealed in the report. I'm just saying like he has stated if he's going to do another DC project, he wants to focus on the second season of Peacemaker. And I'm thinking, I'm very curious. I'm really liking that James Gunn is willing to work with Marvel and DC. I'm someone that loved um, the Suicide Squad. I very much enjoyed the first Guardians of the Galaxy and I enjoyed Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. I really much enjoyed James Gunn's work. So I'm very curious what the project, what the secret project is going to be. Knowing James Gunn, it's probably going to be a lesser known character than, um, than a character like Superman or Batman or one of the mainstay characters. It would be interesting to see James Gunn do Green Lantern, especially with everything he's done with Guardians of the Galaxy. But I like the idea of James Gunn just taking another obscure character or, an, or another group of obscure, obscure characters and just making that as the movie. It like having going thinking about it. If you want to go in the comedy direction, I think Plastic Man would be an interesting movie for James Gunn to do. Or if you want to go in the extremely absurd category, maybe a movie like The Metal Men or Challenges of the Un Unknown would be an interesting project to work on because James Gunn likes to work on obscure characters and I think this would be an interesting direction. Also, if you if he really wanted to, do another Charlton character. Like Peacemaker was originally a Charlton character. Do another one like the Question, or Captain Adam, or Nightshade. And not Blue Beetle, because Blue Beetle is currently getting worked on right now. Another major thing that was revealed is that the Warner Brothers Discovery CEO David Saslov and the head of the Warner Brothers Pictures, Michael DeLuca and Pam Abdi, have all expressed their desires to have Henry Cavill's iteration of Superman to come back and essentially make a Man of Steel 2. The movie Man of Steel 2 would be produced by Charles Roven who has produced many DC film projects in the past. I'm very curious to see what direction this is going to go there. They've also stated that they are currently looking for a writer on the project with like a short list already being made like if we all remember like from a few years ago Christopher McQuarrie the director and writer of the most recent Mission Impossible movies was on a short list and even talked about making it with Henry Cavill very much pushing the idea of Christopher McQuarrie making the film ultimately that fell through and so I'm very curious to see if they're gonna try again with Christopher McQuarrie since a new regime is in the process and maybe those be more likely to say yes to Christopher McQuarrie whereas back then they were more inclined to say no so I'm very interested to see where 
all this is gonna go and this even brings into the effect of J.J. Abrams because J.J. Abrams was going to be producing a Superman movie written by Ta-Nehisi Coates and it would have had a black Superman and spanned over multiple decades and now with them Warner Brothers very much seeming like or Warner Brothers Discover very much seeming like they're going to be focusing on Henry Cavill's Superman it looks like that that idea is sort of on the back burner it may still get produced and just be outside of the main continuity that they're going to be making but I and this is just me looking at the situation from the outside it looks like they're going to try their hardest not to make that movie or if they do make the movie it's not going to be it's going to be something like the Joker where it's outside of continu the main continuity and we'll see where that would even go also you can tell that J.J. Abrams is currently in the flux in the universe of Warner Brothers because they nixed his Constantine and his Zatanna TV shows on HBO Max and they're currently being shopped to different networks. We'll see where J.J. Abrams and his universe goes but I was also looking forward to his Justice League Dark Universe so we'll see where that goes. And another major report or another major nugget of news that came out of that little report is that Matt Reeves is meeting with multiple writers and directors to expand Gotham City because he and this would be set sort of in his little the Batman universe but he's meeting with writers and directors to make movies yes movies not TV shows about Batman drugs gallery or like centered around Batman drugs gallery with the Penguin the Colin Farrell Penguin series continuing to get a little more momentum forward and Matt Reeves meeting with people to make these movies about the rogues gallery some of the names that were specifically mentioned in the article were Scarecrow Clayface and Professor Pig I'll be honest um I'm if Professor Pig would get a, a movie centered around him I don't think I would be enjoying it because Professor Pig is one of those um crazy Batman villains in fact I'm someone that would very much like to see a Catwoman movie first and I know a lot of people are like well we got Catwoman in Batman I'm like I know but I would also like to see Catwoman on her own little adventure maybe that's where we get introduced to Poison Ivy or Pamela Isley in that Catwoman movie and we start getting the Gotham City sirens together with Harley maybe not that far behind because Joker exists in the Batman universe and yeah that would be cool but Again, all of those projects specifically are very much in the early stages, just developing and just meetings right now. But another major point that was also brought up near the end of the article was that Warner Brothers, as of right now, it was revealed that a treatment or scriptment for Wonder Woman 3 by Patty Jenkins is expected to be turned in soon. And they've already written the script for a Flash sequel, and it was written by Aquaman writer David Leslie Johnson McGoldrick. It was very hard. I was looking at the paper to make sure I did not mess up that name. So yeah, we're they're expecting a Wonder Woman 3 scriptment, and they already have a script for the Flash sequel. Warner Brothers is pushing forward with DC Films and I'm very curious to see what direction they go with this universe. Now, all these announcements that are currently happening, is this making me any less like, oh, well, Warner Brothers is getting fixed now. Everything's going to be fine. No, Warner Brothers is still in that weird flux position of they really need to fix a lot of their stuff because let's be honest, these past few years, there's only been like a handful of projects that they've been releasing that a lot of people have been able to get behind like a lot of people got behind the suicide squad and a lot of people have got behind the peacemaker and a lot of people got behind the batman look when it comes to dc league of super pets that's very much a kid's thing and that's a project that it would be very hard to sort of see it was very hard to see how many people actually liked it but it didn't make as much money as a lot of people would hope for in the box office also with black adam coming up i bet a lot of people are going to watch it because the rock or dwayne johnson is pushing that movie so much forward that just with his charisma alone I, you people are going to want to see the movie and so yeah and again there are a lot of been there have been a lot of reports and a lot of like leakage quote unquote of the uh, post credit scene for Black Adam so I haven't seen the movie yet so we'll see but again I think sure this is like a step forward and hopefully this could be a step in a good direction 
for Warner Brothers and Warner Brothers Discovery. However, I'm still very much skeptical of the direction and not skeptical of direction, but skeptical on if they're ever going to be able to stick the landing because Warner Brothers has a history of making a lot of promises and not actually keeping any of those promises. So we'll see. So yeah, a lot of things to think about in terms of DC movie news. So I'm curious, what are your thoughts on this Hollywood Reporter report? Are you looking forward to the future of the DC films? Not the DC universe, but just DC films in general with the direction of maybe we may get a lot of things in the future? Or are you still a little hesitant on what they may do in the future? Because I can tell you right now, even though they announced, or like in the report they're saying they're trying to go with the Henry Cavill direction, maybe do Man of Steel 2. As someone that loved Man of Steel, Batman v Superman, and Zack Snyder's Justice League, as someone that loves Henry Cavill as Superman, I'm still very hesitant because they've promised a lot of things in the past and a lot of stuff just hasn't really been given to me. And though like I'm someone that has readily like said that they will defend the DCEU, they they got to do stuff for me now otherwise they may lose me. I don't know. That's just that's just my opinion. And so with all that being said, again, what are your thoughts on this report? Are you looking forward to the future or are you still a little negative and a little hesitant? Whatever your thoughts, post them in the comments down below. Also, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. We are almost to 60 subscribers. I was able to get to 50 subscribers. And again, thank you everyone who got me to 50 subscribers. Let's try to get to 60 now. And also hit the notification bell. That way you can be notified whenever a new Mr. Eli Mac show news report goes live. Until next time, I've been Mr. Eli Mac. You've been the audience. And I hope you all have a great rest of the day.